Hello, my name is Logan Okwe, and today we'll be talking about non-gonococcal urethritis. Non-gonococcal urethritis, or NGU, is an infection of the urethra. It is spread through both vaginal and anal sex, and it can be caused by chlamydia, trichomonas vaginalis, urinary tract infection, herpes simplex virus, and adenovirus. However, there can be non-infection causes, such as an irritation from soap or spermicide in the genital area or damage to the urethra during sex. The symptoms usually appear between one to five weeks after the start of the infection, Men may notice a white discharge and soreness from the tip of the penis and a burning sensation when urinating. Women might also notice the burning sensation when urinating and a slight clear discharge from the urethra. If you are a woman and you are feeling pain around the lower part of the stomach, pain felt deep inside the pelvis during intercourse, bleeding between periods, pain when urinating or heavy or painful periods, the non-gonococcal urethritis might have worsened into pelvic inflammatory disease, in which case a doctor should be notified. Non-gonococcal urethritis can be treated through doses of antibiotics. The doctor may prescribe an azithromycin to be taken just once while refraining from sex for seven days after the dosage is taken, or doxycycline to be taken twice a day for seven days while refraining from sex until the dosage is complete. It is important to remember that there should be no sex until there are no more symptoms and your partner has been treated. There may be some side effects including sickness, vomiting, and diarrhea. And if not treated, you may experience swelling of the testicles, an infection of the prostate gland, and it can cause infertility in both men and women. After the treatment, remember that there are a few ways of preventing the possibility of contracting NGU once again, including the limiting of sexual partners, the use of a condom, and carefully washing your genitals after sex. This STI is common and can be contracted very easily. The best way to safely prevent this STI is to practice safe sex by always using a condom. I hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching.